Hey, we're here with Steven. We are buying a golden retriever puppy. So this should be a very popular video. <laughs> She's crying. Look at this cute little puppy. So we'll, you'll be seeing a lot more of this. Yeah. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Dryer. Um, pineapples and pe peaches. So the peaches look pretty good. All that syrup that they were in turned into like a dried crispy foam. <laughs> the pineapples, um, putting the mixture together probably wasn't a great idea. I'm trying to do similar things so i'm just doing a bunch of fruit together but the pineapples didn't need nearly as much time as the peaches did and i think the freeze dryer was a little confused on whether or not the peaches were getting dry because it ran for a really long time 44 hours yeah especially this bottom tray they look brown not very appealing and then here's a little bit of fruit cocktail that also doesn't look too good but that's what we're doing right now. We're learning. So we got our pieces of roast beef that have been freeze dried. And so now we're gonna try rehydrating. Cindy was saying we need to do some rehydrating. So I saved three pieces. What we did is we took 20 cans. Whoa. 20 cans of Kirkland roast beef. It is fully cooked, premium top and bottom round. And so these became these. So this is really nice, lightweight. This, I wouldn't dare try to carry them all at the same time. Kind of heavy. And you might say, why would you take something out of a can and put it into a bag. The reason is uh, a can, if you want to store some food for a while, a can is good. You know, they put that expiration date on it, which most cans I believe are going to last longer than the expiration date. But this is going to last 25 years. We also did some little sample packs because this is going to be our business that we're working on. So I did some little sample packs that we can give to people. So now we're going to try an experiment in rehydrating. I'm going to try three different ways of rehydrating and see how it goes. One, we'll just do water. Look at this. This meat just looks awesome. It looks like a little steak with, with the uh, marbling and everything. So I'm just going to submerge one in water. And then I heard... Uh, a really good, I think it's a really good tip, is say you're getting ready to rehydrate this to cook it, um, you can go ahead and add your flavors to it. So I'm gonna try one in this barbecue sauce. And I saw where people put it, just straight barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I don't think that uh, there's enough moisture to really hydrate well, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, not too much. Uh, I guess that's about 50-50. Just a little more than I meant to put in there, but that'll, that'll be fine. Drop that one in there. I can see it soaking in right away, just like a little sponge. And then I can try this other flavor. And 
we'll let those go for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes and see what we get. Okay, it's been maybe 40 minutes, I think. And we're gonna take a look at these and see how they did. So here's the one that was just water. Uh, looks like it did when it came out of the can. Yeah, it looks like meat. That is meat. Looks good. And there's one with the honey mustard. Here's one with the other sauce. The uh, Duke's white barbecue sauce. So yeah, this one is just flaking apart. It, it feels with the fork just like just like uh, it did, I don't know about just like it did out of the can, but pretty much. This one, to me, that feels the same way. So they all rehydrate that one too. really well. And that's just in cold water with, uh, yeah, well, cold water. Is it good? Wow, you wanna taste it? This one that was just in the water Need salt. Kind of doesn't have any flavor. Maybe we set it in the water a little too long. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so I wanted to say, this particular brand of beef, the only thing in the can is beef and water. That's it. There's no preservatives. There's no other funky garbage that you can't pronounce because some people are health conscious and in the future when we have our own cows we will have grass-fed grass-finished beef that we're selling which will probably cost a fair bit more than this we're but gonna try to do that quickly but that could be a couple of that years that could be a couple of years but just so people know this is not grass-fed grass-finished beef it's just beef in a can to my knowledge, you cannot find grass-fed, grass-finished beef in a can at this time. A crock pot stew, throw in a bag with two cans in a crock pot. Some of our vegetables that we're gonna do, you could throw in. Some of our potatoes that we're gonna do, you could throw in with a couple of quarts of broth, which at some point, I think we're gonna do that too. So you could rehydrate your broth, throw it in the crock pot, throw all this stuff in, and then just let it go for an hour. And you would have a decent stew that you could put over rice or whatever. I've seen where some people suggested rehydrating not in water, but in broth. So Personally, I think that would be a better option. I mean, cooking is definitely gonna bring all those flavors into it really well. But uh, even if you're just rehydrating it cold, broth, would definitely and do better than water. If you use bone broth, you get all the nutrient benefits of the bone broth. You're consuming that, which is very good for you. So. This one added some flavor and it was good. Yes. This one... That one's very sweet. This one added That's excellent flavor and it's radish. really, really good. This one's a horseradish base. So that one's really sweet. To me, that's... I mean, well, we already showed you. You know, it's, it's just like meat again. It came out really well. You could just rehydrate it, mix it up with mayonnaise, and make a salad for a sandwich. You could just eat it. Put some salt on it and eat it. If you're keto- I ate it dry. I love it. <laughs> if you're keto, you could just rehydrate it and just eat it with a vegetable, and you're good to go. So, so. jerky has become a thing, you know, over hundreds of years, I guess, maybe. <laughs> and freeze-dried meat is a nice, crunchy snack. <laughs> Well, it's not crunchy once you rehydrate it, but anyway, so as meat prices go up and up, this could be an option. We don't know what the future holds, so we firmly believe that you should have your family taken care of ahead of the game, food-wise. This would also be an option, so. Something to put in the pantry. Yep. We're not telling you it's time to prepare for the apocalypse, but there's a proverb that says, the wise man has food in his stores. The government tells us to have three days worth of food in case of any emergency. I think that three days is not enough, but we should all have at least three days, yes. right? Yes. So, yum, Thanks. this was good. Thank you.